Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Amanda and I love mystery boxes and I resell on Poshmark, Mercari, and Kittizen. And this is a much anticipated video. I know I have mentioned in the past several videos that I ordered another 200 pound bulk mystery box. Disclaimer, these boxes have been sitting in my house for several weeks now. They have moved from one location to the other. It's a lot of work. 200 pounds of inventory is typically around, from my experience, about 300 items. And it's just a lot. So until I was ready to start going to the buy, sell, trade stores, I've just kind of pushed it off. Now, I'm going to do this a little different. I have opened these boxes before. I've done series where I've done one box per video. I've done where I've already unboxed them and then I showed you in each video what I was taking the Play-Dohs, what I was selling. I've done it a few different ways. We're gonna do it a little bit different just because I need to get these things cleared out of my house. So today we're going to open two out of the four. So we're gonna open up 100 pounds. So get yourself a drink. This video is going to be probably a little bit longer than my usual videos here. And another, just FYI, I have this nice um, bandage thing happening here. I did have a uh, biopsy this morning, something removed. So make sure you're going to the dermatologist. This is just something I've had on my finger forever and it started looking different and hurting. So I was hoping to get this video done when I raced home, um, but the uh, numbing stuff has already started to wear off. So we're gonna power through that. And the final disclaimer is if you have watched my videos, anyone else's bulk mystery clothing videos lately, I already know this is going to be filled with all of the brands they stopped taking. I have had incredible success with these big bulk boxes. My average cost of goods has ranged anywhere from $1.32 to $1.47 in the past. Very similar to Ben's pricing, but I've got designer items. I have made a lot of profit. These, I do not have high hopes for, and I would imagine that probably 80% of what's in these boxes is going to go to local buy, sell, trade. I bought these boxes with that in mind. I've actually started sourcing more at my local clothes mentor, Style Encore, and Plato's Closet. It's not where I typically was sourcing for women's clothing, but you guys know I love Once Upon a Child. I love trading in there. So my plan with these boxes is to get inventory to list online from the buy, sell, trade stores. So I am hoping, for example, if I take them 100 items and I walk out with maybe 10 with that trade, I'm good with that. So that's the goal. I'm going to treat these just like I treat the mystery kids boxes. And that way I'm not gonna be really disappointed. My Play-Dohs and Style Encore have no problem taking the Target and lower end brand so long as they're in good condition. So without further ado, I did pick up this box on a sale. I don't remember what the sale was for. They do often run a little rescue box sale, not tell anybody, it'll just last for a day. I know they just did one for Labor Day. Uh, thank you, a couple of you guys sent me emails to let me know they had kids shoes available. I am on a um, sourcing freeze for the entire month of September. It's been hard. I have seen things on some of the websites I like to source on and I have refrained, I'm going to stick with it. So there was a sale. This box is typically $400 and I paid 380. So after taxes, there was no shipping, I paid $404.70. So that's roughly $100 per 50 pounds. So we'll see, we'll see if it was worth it. Now, I, you might be like, oh my gosh, that was not worth it when you see what I'm pulling out. But remember, I will do a Play-Dohs, I'm gonna do a, like a, a follow-up after both of these. So today you're gonna see two, I'll do the other two I'm gonna be wearing the same outfit because I'm actually gonna film both these videos right now so I can just deal with it. But I will take you along and let you know how much I received from the buy, sell, trade stores and show you what I pick up. And then the last thing is I do keep stuff in those. My husband had to lift this up for me. All these things are so heavy so I can't show you, but they're the big boxes. Um, I do go to at least two different locations when I'm taking things in. I will also probably send some of this stuff back to thread up, depending on the brand, of course. They don't take Target, but they take Gloria Vanderbilt. It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, last thing I'll mention, uh, when you are watching this, you might have already heard, maybe not, October the 15th, a thread up is once again making changes and they are changing the way they do their partner kits and you no longer will get your payout before the items sell, which was kind of the whole point. You have to wait till they sell and see what sells and then they'll pay you. So. 
get your boxes sent in. They said anything postmark before October 15th will be done the old way. So without further ado, I wonder if I need to back this up a little, just a little. Okay. Oh, my poor finger. The smallest little things make the most amount of pain. Whew. All right. I see a blazer. All right. We're not starting out terribly. This is better than what came in my J, J. Crew box. This is a J. Crew schoolboy blazer. And I happen to know that this style does sell well. So I will probably list this myself. Now, this video, I'm going to go pretty quickly. You might see flaws on items that I will see later once I inspect after the video. But, you know, I got to make sure all the buttons are in here, all that. It's, it's a size two. So we're going to just kind of power through. I've got empty boxes all sitting around ready for all of this to be done. All right, this is a universal thread size small sweater, but it is still 100 degrees here in Orlando. But I do know that buy sell trades have started taking fall clothing. This is a nice packable down, down, it's not really down. This is a new day. So it's fine. I mean, we're already thinking, oh my gosh, target, target, target. It's fine because this is what I expected. And I did not buy this hoping it would be anything like my old school 200 pounds, unfortunately. All right, this is 7th Avenue, New York and Company, size medium. Uh, this is actually really cute. This is something that I would wear. Uh, but this will probably go into the Style Encore box. And then if they ended up not taking it, don't, I'll have to see if ThreadUp still takes this brand. But I, I think that Buy, Sell, Trade would take that. Okie dokie. Uh, this has a tag cut. It says size 8. But this reminds me like of that poof girl tag that kind of looks like free people. And it's not. This is just a little sweater. Uh, and I think it has a hole. Maybe they tried to repair it. Yeah. We tried to repair a hole there. At least they used teal fabric, but that'll be a donate. We've got some kids size 10, 12 leggings. These are uh, members mark, which is Sam's Club. So these will go in my daughter's room for her next size. All right, this is Express size four. I want to say that thread up still takes express so it has a little cut out there but if not this definitely screams play-dohs my husband's doing laundry behind me you're gonna make a play-dohs run for me next week the girls in there always like to look at you i'll dress them up real cute and send them in there i feel like if you're dressed more like trendy they're more apt to take more of your items so these are my michelle size five definitely a juniors kind of like a paper bag style waist i remember wearing this brand when i was a kid Oh, my dog's outside giving me the evil eye. Oh, these things, it's really shoved in here, which is a good thing. All right, this is Daily Ritual. I've actually never heard of this, size medium. It feels very substantial, like, very nice. It does have wash wear. If it was a large, I would keep it, um, but this will probably end up being a donate just because of the amount of wash wear. It is cotton. Elastane and modal. So I have to look that up. Just I like to look up brands, even if I'm not gonna sell that. Maybe I just learned a new brand to keep an eye out for when I'm out thrifting or at the bins. This is silence and noise, size medium. This is a little mini dress. It's actually really cute. So something like this. I would pick up at the bins. I would probably list it myself, but I have so much inventory. I feel like this is something that buy, sell, trade will definitely take. I won't get as much doing it that way, but I've just got to kind of reset, start fresh. All right, this is Venus, size extra large. This is like a, a wrap style shirt. Uh, faux wrap, a nice pretty mauve color. Right, this is Calvin Klein, size eight. Calvin Klein dresses like this, I actually really enjoyed when I was working a career job. They're just, they're comfortable, they're good quality. So some things like this, I will look up just to see if there's a market for that. Basically when it comes to these boxes, if I can't sell these items for at least $20, 
then it's not gonna be worth my time in this instance. Don't hear me wrong. I, I sell a lot of items for under $20. It's just not for this project. All right, this is divided H&M, size small, a very, this is very heavy, very heavy coat. So that will definitely go to buy, sell, trade. This feels very cheap. It is no boundaries, which is Walmart, but Play-Dohs has taken every Walmart I've ever taken them because Walmart does make some very trendy pieces. Some of their kids' clothes lately have been so cute. All right, this is Morona, so more Target, size small. I don't even know when they stopped making Morona, so I don't know that Bicel Trade will even take that. Oh, we have some socks. Oh my gosh, these are cute. This is like a Dutch oven which I love my Dutch oven. I actually got another one for my birthday. La Crusoe, worth the money, friends. Uh, time and True, a brand new with tags, midi length TT crinkle skirt, retailed for $16.97. But new with tags, no reason to buy, sell, trade, won't take that. So basically this is just trading inventory for inventory, you know, but I do very well with that at the kids store, so. All right, this is Norton McNaughton. It seems vintage, it's just acrylic polyester. It's actually really cute, I look at this sleeve. I was like, is that a hole? But no, the whole thing is just very holy. All right, we've got some jeans. Fashion Nova, size 13. Hopefully in decent enough shape that Play-Dohs will take them. I don't expect, see in these boxes before, I've gotten a ton of Lululemon. I don't expect any of that now that they have an athletic box. Did you notice they were calling it the Lululemon Fabletics Athleta box and now it's just called Athletic Box, but they're still calling the J. Crew Banana Republic box that. So I don't expect those brands either, although I did get one piece already. All right, this is Under Armour. The tag has been torn out. Sometimes my buy sell trade will take things with no size. It just depends on if they need athletic wear right now. Oh, pair of Fashion Nova new with the tags jeans, size 11. So that's perfect. This is sadly because of the state of thread up. This is exactly what I was hoping for, but this saved me a trip to the bins and I'm hoping in the end we will see if it was worth $400. Okay, this is nice. This is a new Tags Club Monaco, retailed for $229, size four. Now what's wrong with it? Here's the Club Monaco whoop, logo for you. This is a really cute dress. Well, at first glance, it doesn't appear to have anything wrong with it. Just because it's new with tags doesn't mean it's not without flaws, but other than well, maybe a deodorant mark there, so hey, this might actually be an item that I list. This is Lulu's. That can be decent too. It's easy to find stock photos for them, size small. This is a, looks like a mini, little mini dress. I really like this color. I'm too pasty white to wear this color, but I like that. Needs steaming, which that's not my favorite. Do you guys steam your items before you take them to buy, sell, trade? All right, this is Peck and Peck. I wanna say this is like a JC Penney's brand, size small. These are like some very stretchy pull-on, nicer pants, but they definitely need a wash. I think they're cream. Let's hope they're supposed to be cream. All right, we've got some kind of faux leather. Sound and Matter. I've not heard of that. It reminds me of Silence and Noise. Are they related? This is a really cute little bomber style jacket with a hood. I definitely don't think it's real leather. No, 100% polyurethane. There is an RN number and the brand, so I will look it up just, but I feel like this is definitely a cool little piece here and definitely something that hopefully a buy, sell, trade will take. All right, we've got a Talbot's non-iron size six petite little shirt here. This is something that if Style Encore doesn't take, I will send back to thread up. Talbot seems to do all right on there. 
Divided H&M size 12. This is a perfect fall color as well. It's a velvety little bell sleeve dress. All right, this is Express, size small. Did any, I was obsessed with Express when I was in college. Anybody else? I haven't been into one in a long time. This is a, is this a romper? No, a very short little dress. These are H&M, size two. Just some stretchy little khaki colored denim pants. A new day, but it's new with tag, $14.99, which is great. It's just a cute little fall colored tee. Chaps, size six. They are white. They definitely have a couple spots, but something like this, I will try and wash them. And this is probably a pair that will go back to thread up. And I have been loving doing the Gap Partner Kits. I have a video on how to do that. And right before school started, I stocked up on clothes for my kids for next summer. And it was basically free, you know? So, and then when they're done with them, I will take those to Once Upon a Child. It's, it's a win-win for me. So kind of always have a revolving clothes situation over here. All right, this is just Forever 21 size small, a really tight little mini skirt. If you have kids, that's a, a, a great thing to do in my opinion. And Gap clothes hold up for kids. They make really cute stuff too. And it's really expensive. I shop their clearance sales. And when they have like an additional 30 or 40% off clearance, this is Marona, new with tags, super old. Cause it still had the red clearance stickers, but originally it was $39.99. It is from 2009. So it is a, it's a pretty little dress. Lots of size two pieces in this box. Oh, this is Madewell. I was gonna say, this feels nice. Maybe like linen, Madewell size medium. And it's just cotton viscose from summer of 2016. But it has a style number on it. Probably, I'll look it up if it's, you know, you just never know which pieces were like a blogger favorite or which things people are interested in, but I'll at least check it up, but probably will go. Free People Movement. This definitely has some better stuff in it than I expected to see, but I've also gotten orders where one box was amazing, the next was full of junk, just don't know. So Free People Movement, just a little, it seems cropped. It is a size small, definitely has some wash wear, but I like having Free People in my closet because I feel like it brings some traffic to my store. Typically my Free People items end up being bundled with other things. So even if this is only maybe a $15 sale, I might keep that for myself. All right, this is a jean jacket, but I don't, it says big blue. It doesn't have a tag up here. It looks like it was cut out, but I can see the buttons say big blue. It doesn't, oh, here we go. What is this? Here's the, what the, the little, that looks like. No other tag. It doesn't feel quality. So again, with no size, I don't know. We will see. Banana Republic Factory, size medium. What is, what, what is this? Oh, I think it is a shirt that has this little deal that you can tie around your neck, the little, yes, that appears right. And a button up, yes, you get the idea. It feels really nice, let me see. That's from fall of 2019. Long sleeve, tie, neck, chain link. So even though it's factory, I don't know, that's cute, we'll see. Alrighty, this is Dina Bar, definitely vintage, made in the USA, paper tag, Size 10, silver letters there. What are you? Okay, it is a formal lime green little dress. I've definitely worn this color before. Is it in style anymore? No idea. It's 100% silk. So, so long as there's like no pulls, I will steam it. I. I lie, I won't steam it. I will ask my sweet husband to do some steaming for me. If I can just put everything on a hanger and have it on a rack, he doesn't mind doing that. I burn myself every time, he does not. 
Margaritaville, off topic. My husband took me there. We just had our 16th wedding anniversary. I told you guys he was, if you watch all of my videos, a couple of videos ago, we were about to leave. And I love Jimmy Buffett, random fact about me. I'm in Florida, I grew up listening to Jimmy Buffett. We have a boat now, so my kids are learning to love Jimmy Buffett. He has a song called Delaney Talks to Statues, which we play all the time because I, my middle child is Delaney. Anyway, I was really disappointed in the Orlando Margaritaville Hotel. Just throwing that out there. Okay, this is John Galt, which is like a one size deal, but hopefully it's the items like these. That when I take to Play-Dohs and I put these on top, they see I have some like trendier, decent brands. And I do think that that matters. Like if they notice there's a couple decent pieces, they're more apt to take, okay, I'll take your Target and your Walmart also. Could be a theory, random theory, but we'll see. Here is a sweater with no tag. It feels like wool though. I hate the feel of wool. It is, nope, just acrylic polyamide polyester. Random tag that says size small. But yeah, I, would, I could never wear this. Maybe this is a trendy style for the kids right now. I don't know. All right, Marona, size extra small. A royal blue pleated dress. So, we'll see. We'll see. It's very cute. Um, this is a perfect little dress to wear to a wedding. My sister did her wedding and, and she asked everyone to wear her wedding colors, which was royal blue and white. So maybe there's a market for something like that. Brandy Melville, same as John Galt, like a, just a little one size cutesy little, this is very similar actually. Here's these two, probably from the same person. One's sheer and thread up will not take things without a size, even though this brand doesn't usually even put a size. I get it in all of my boxes. This is definitely something I could bundle if they choose not to take it, which I don't see why they wouldn't. They're both fall colors. So if not, I could do that. These look like maternity, old navy maternity size large. These were like my favorite kind of pants. These, I don't think any of my, they're in really good shape. I don't think my adult buy sell trade stores take maternity. I have to think about that. Actually, Clothes Mentor, I think, does. However, my Once Upon a Child does, so I will probably stick those in the Once Upon a Child bin. All right, we are not even halfway done with the first box, and so we're already at 20 minutes. All right, let's speed it up. A Calvin Klein black dress with no size tag. Corret City Blues. This definitely seems vintage and not in a good way. A, well, I mean, maybe it could be cool for someone right now. It has got a elastic back waist and it is just a denim midi skirt. Who knows? Maybe Play-Dohs will like that. Maybe they'll shock me. Abercrombie and Fitch size medium. Do they have medium petite? It says MP. Oh, it's a sweater dress. Is that the back? That can't be the, what? How are your girls covered in that? So the tag is back here, so surely that's the back, right? What am I missing? This is totally open. Maybe that's higher than I'm thinking? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like that? I thought this was gonna be like right here in the middle. It's not, it would go up above. Okay, that makes sense. I remember when Abercrombie was all the rage. I don't know if it still is, I can just, Smell it, thinking about it. <laughs> okay, here is a black COS collection of style. Uh, don't see a size. Oh, that's because that's on the bottom. It is a size sm extra small, small. This is a really fun little, what are these called? A cardigan? I don't know if that brand resells for anything, but I'll put it in my look it up pile. This is exhilaration, size extra small, a romper. This is a cute little print. This is Lauren Conrad, size large. Just a shirt from Kohl's. How does it go? Is that the back? Oh, that's the back. This is cute. Actually, I'll probably keep this for myself. I mean, I, I don't know who I'm kidding. I usually wear t-shirts or Lily Pulitzer if I have to actually get dressed and not wear a shirt and leggings. However, this is cute. Maybe I will wear this. My son has a Boy Scouts banquet coming up soon. This would be cute with a little pair of black pants. 
and Lauren Conrad is not going to sell for very much. I personally love the brand. Okay, this is a Lulu's size extra small. Sorry about the lighting. I say that every time, but I have got tons of skylights and lights or uh, windows everywhere. This is a one of those. This goes around your neck. Same thing. This is very, very low cut. Little pot there. This is Kokomo Petite. Don't know. It feels very nice. Like this would be a nice dress shirt, like to wear to work. Like the kind of material that doesn't, I call these cruise shirts. It doesn't wrinkle. I could see like my mother-in-law wearing this. It's got roll tab sleeves, like on a cruise to dinner. So this, if Style Encore doesn't take this, this is definitely a, I'll send it back to thread up. Old Navy size extra small, a long sleeve eyelet blouse. The positive is this is a, a lot of fall stuff. And even though I'm in Florida, we don't really have fall. I'm hoping that means the buy sell trade would be more apt to take it. Cause see here in Florida, we like to dress like it's cute for fall. And then we're literally dying and sweating. And in our heads, ideally flannels and boots are cute, but we have like four days of the entire year where we can dress like that. This is just Walmart size, extra large, a little tank. Ooh, this feels like cashmere, but it's definitely from Costco. Kirkland size, small. It feels like some sort of wool. There's a hole in it. It is men's. It literally says men's. Merino, 100% extra fine merino wool. Somebody definitely washed it because I can feel the stretch and look at all the holes. You see them all? Yikes. Maybe you can't. Oh, you can see my, there we go. So a men's piece filled with holes in my women's box. That's great. So that is going to go right in the garbage. All right, this is Forever 21 plus size. It says zero X. It's like a velour type mini skirt. This is a clock house. Never heard of it. Size medium, really pretty burgundy colored long sleeve. Also feels like decent material. Polyester viscose elastane. This is Loft Petite, size extra small petite. This reminds me of Harry Potter. <laughs> so that's a cute little sweater. Some shorts, American Rag, size zero. Don't know where that's from. Some really cute little floral shorts and they are so tiny, but I really like the buttons and the coloring of this. Okay, this is the limited black collection, Lexi Fit size two, a black pencil skirt, customary to come in every bulk thread up mystery box. This is Allison Andrews, extra small. I've not heard of that. This is just a really cute little black career style dress. We have got Ace me, Acme. Look, I don't know. Feels really nice. No size tag. It's like a tie dye kind of. No other tags in it. And I just noticed it's cold sh shoulder, which is definitely not something Vicel Trade is buying right now. So that will be a donate. This is H and M size US ten. Just a black blazer. BCG size small, a, is either a swim or just athletic compression style shirt, nylon polyester spandex from Academy Sports. I'm sure they sell it elsewhere as well. We're getting down there. All right, this is passport size small, a flannel button up. This is Time and True, size small, just a leopard print cardigan, longer uh, sweater. What do we got here? Something very vibrant. Oh, this is Bowden, size 16. That's great. I love mini Bowden for kids. Bowden for women does 
pretty well. This is these boxes. This is a skirt, so it's not gonna do as well, but it is a larger size. It feels like linen. It is 100% linen and they have their style number inside their items. So that is a piece I will sell. So there's maybe been like five pieces in this box, which is fine. This is what I was kind of hoping for. Kathleen Summers, like a really, I, I remember wearing a shirt like this in high school for something, something I had to dress up for, like this iridescent, is this Y2K? I don't know. All right, we've got what appears to be a fake Burberry coat. Uh, no size tag, definitely feels super cheap, but it's got the fake um, check print. So I don't know. I don't like supporting counterfeits or anything like that, but I'd hate to see it go to a landfill, so I might see if Play-Dohs will take it. All right, Ooh, this is heavy. This is Jack Spade. I'm pretty sure that's Kate Spade's men's line. Bleecker Street, New York. Uh, it's really bright. I don't know if you're gonna see that. Jack Spade. This is very heavy, has nice elbow patches. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a men's piece. There is no size though. So I'll have to do some measuring. My husband is a large, which is great because I feel like that's just like, he can fit into things that are too small and he'll know if it's a little bit too big. And then of course we'll add measurements, but this is very heavy, very nice quality feeling. So hopefully that is worth something. Looks like three more pieces in this box. All right. You guys also let me know if you like the longer videos or not. I watch both long and short. This is a Uniqlo size extra small turtleneck sweater. These are a pair of black pants that appear to have no tag whatsoever. This is Universal Thread size medium. This is a really pretty dress. I, now, I have sold a lot of Universal Thread pieces, new with tags that I've got like in some um, liquidation boxes. This is really pretty. This is definitely like cottage core vibes. Probably has a really cute stock photo, but I do think that Bicel Trade will take that. All right, last one here. I lost my helper. Helper! All right, this is amazing. Uh-oh, we're having a, a, a mountain of clothing. This is 100% granny core this is amazing. This is Alfred Dunner, size medium. Definitely vintage. This is definitely something my aunt would have worn. Will you push this over here for me, babe? You can just trade the chairs. I mean, this is like super itchy, super fabulous. Um, I, oh, underneath here. It is, no. Oh, acrylic nylon, made in Hong Kong. So I really hope that this is something that will sell. I mean, it's got, look at those details. All right, it's a little itchy. All right, here's this empty box for me now. We're gonna jump into box number two. I will put down below how many pieces total came in these two boxes. And when I do the next video for boxes three and four, I will be able to share with you my cost of goods. Wow, look at, there's an animal on the top of this box. Okay, this is Wild Fable. Size small, new with the tags, which is great. Like, unfortunately though, this is gonna take up like a whole Rubbermaid tub and sometimes these buy, sell, trade stores, you're only allowed to bring one tub per day. There's lots of fuzzies. Oh, look, I got two pieces of tissue in this one. All right, another new with tag, two new with tags, universal thread, size extra large. They are the same. Both size extra large, but new with the tags, this is great. This is, this has got, uh, so I don't know if I should put universal thread. Do you put universal thread in Play-Dohs and a new day? Do those go to Play-Dohs or do those go to, to the more mature style on core and clothes mentor? I don't know. Sometimes I take it to both if one doesn't take it, but I feel like Wild Fable, what do you do? Wild Fable to me is more of the younger 
and universal thread and a new day or more of the older. Do I have that right, wrong? I don't know, give me your opinions. All right, this is a brand I, okay, Forever 21. Like I know this, this is just a pair of Forever 21 size small leggings, but they appear to be brand new. I could tell just from the writing there, but then they also still have the little things where the tag would be hooked on. Okay, this somebody dry cleaned. J Crew 100% cashmere. Hopefully, since they took it to be dry cleaned, that means it was washed properly. It still feels lovely. Hopefully, it's not shrunken. Oh, it has a cute little little zipper details. Um, I definitely still see stains on it though. Fall of 2011. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see those. Maybe I'm just seeing things. No, I feel like there's a really big stain right here. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. I kind of uh, am on a strike against OxyClean right now. It's usually my favorite, but it's ruined a couple things for me recently. And I don't know if you can soak cashmere in OxyClean. Can you? All right, this is Derek Hart, straight up Plato's worthy size small. It's so funny though. I find some of my best Lily Pulitzer pieces like for personal use at Plato's. All right, this is a Gap size small cowl neck really cozy either a tunic or a very or a mini dress and a pretty burgundy color size small uh 25 merino wool so needs a little wash i will i will look this up I like to have wool, like good quality fabric pieces in my shop. This is a new day size small, super soft though. Like Target does make some decent pieces. I think they, they sell linen. I don't think they do real wool like that though. All right, this is Urban Outfitters. These are, are these sleep pants? No, regular, these are interesting, size medium. They are like this funky, plaid, very wide leg, cargo style. I mean, I am not a cool person. I would drive a minivan and I'm maybe a cool mom of elementary age kids, but um, maybe these are trendy and I just don't know. I still wear low rise jeans. So everyone complaining that low rise jeans are coming back or people that are happy, those are my people. I, nothing can touch my belly button. I, I was born, I, spoiler, or not spoiler, what, I'm just telling you all my business, uh, in 1985. So when I was in high school, low rise jeans were all the rage and since that's just what I got used to, I cannot have things covering this section of my body. I, not even when I was pregnant, I liked the ones that had the low panel, like just the, the band that went around, not those belly deals, no ma'am. All right, this is loft, not factory, size six. This is a really cute little skirt. I know skirts are usually a hard sell, but sometimes they're really cute. All right, this is Kate Hill Woman, size one X. I feel like this is, my mom orders a lot of clothes from catalogs, like Woman Within. I see that catalog come in the mail all the time. She lives next door, so we share a mailbox, but I feel like this is something that is sold in one of those catalogs she gets. This is a new day, size small. Just a cute top, maybe off the shoulder, maybe not. This is, what are you? Oh, this is Athleta. I, didn't even, I just saw the size tag and I knew it. It is a size extra large. I did not expect any, this is definitely old tag, but Oh, it's a dress. Okay, I've sold a couple Athleta dresses. It is like a wrap style at the top dress. This is cute. Now, are there any tips on how to find Athleta styles? Um, it's done, to me, it's not been as easy as Lulu has because there's all these numbers on here and I've searched them, but maybe, I'm, well, I do see a style number. I don't know. 90% tactile nylon. I just struggle to find stock photos. Maybe it's because the pieces are too old. What do we got here? Ooh, a t-shirt, my kind of thing. This is Wild Fable, size medium. Go outside and look inside. Oh my gosh, this is cute. I'm, this is actually a Target, it says Plant Mom. This is from Target. Is it Wild Fable? Can't tell. 
Uh, no, I think it's just, you know, they have all those rows of shirts. <laughs> anyway, this is a size medium, but it's definitely oversized. I, I like larges, but oh, this is cute. This matches. I'm wearing, you can't see them. These are the Lululemon. Um, they look, I think they call them ice breaker. They're like that ice dive stuff, but this actually matches these. So this is the first piece. Well, there's a couple that might not sell, but I'm excited to keep for myself. Perks of the job. You will see me wearing this in another video, I'm sure. All right, this is Knox Rose. This is the other Target brand I was trying to think of. I think this is a younger crowd along with Wild Fable. I'll pretend I'm young to wear that. Size medium. This is cute. Like this, this has got nice embroidery. I think Knox Rose makes some adorable clothes. A lot of time, like things that you would wear. We don't have like festivals here, but I hear y'all YouTube people talk about that. Um, but I was like to the country bar, you know, your cute little cowgirl boots. All right, these are Maurice's. I don't think we have that here either. Size seven, eight, just some dress pants with a really stretchy, nice waistband. Oh my gosh, what a mess. That's the thing with these boxes. Like, I hope you have nothing else planned the day that you open them. Divided, size medium, skirt. I better hurry this up. Hippie Rose, not to be confused with Knox Rose, size large. This is just a donate because it's definitely super not in style. Leon, I've, I've gotten this before, still never looked up where it's sold. Just a cute little top that would look nice under a blazer. That's really stuck in there. Ooh, I like this print, what are you? This is new without tag, Forever 21. Like, is it a robe? Or is it like a kimono? I'm not quite sure. This. Very dirty, gross. It's like all yellowed up there, size extra large, old navy, not even flannel, like a cotton button up, that might be men's. A new day, size large, like a crop sweater, sweatshirt. This is H&M, size two, a houndstooth little career dress. See, things like this, I know I stopped taking H&M, but to me, this is very thread up, like people, to have a job or looking for cute pieces at a discount, but all right, Morona size extra, extra large, just a fitted shirt. Another Morona size large. These I probably won't do anything with, but donate them to my local place. I love to donate. This is Zanana Outfitters. I have heard of it, don't know where they sell it, but it's a size medium. These are like really cozy lounge style pants. They definitely have some wash wear. So this is probably another piece I will keep to wear around the house, but wow, these are wide leg. All right, this is Be Cool. I've never heard of it, but it is Spandex, elastane, nylon, and acrylic. There is an RN number and a style number. It is a long, open, there's the brand, Be Cool. Hooded cardigan thing. However, there has not been a lot of damaged things yet, but this has like a giant stain all over it. But like I said before, I will probably, I will, this will get donated, but I will look up the brand just to learn is be cool anything probably not but then i'll know a new day size small really cute i feel like i've sold the same shirt new with tags massimo size 14 bermuda mid-rise probably see if a family member wants those i think that's her size all right this is old navy size medium just a very basic, it has a really cute little puff sleeve there. Black, like a shift dress. Ooh, another J. Crew, not factory, just J. Crew size small. This is cute. Look at all these sequins. I don't know. It feels like wool, but it is acrylic wool mohair from Holiday of 2012. But like, 
I don't like wool, I don't buy wool, I don't wear wools, but I feel like I can kind of tell when things have been washed incorrectly. I don't know. But I feel like if it was washed incorrectly, these things might come off. We'll see, I will do some further research, but I might list this just because I, I love glitter. Glitter is my favorite color. Zoba. I feel like I see this at TJ Maxx. Size small, some Capri leggings. What do we got? Oh, another one of those shirts that ties around. This is Walmart, size extra, extra, extra large, 22. This is really cute. I like the tie front, like around your neck, and then it's got some puff sleeves. See, Walmart does make some very cute pieces. Some jeans, maternity jeans, but they definitely have some thigh wear. They are, what are you? Walmart, size extra large. There we go, time and true. So those will just get donated. Jilly, G-I-L-L-I, -L -L USA. This doesn't have a size, it's just a little purple dress, it doesn't feel good. And the inner tag was cut out. This is a LuLaRoe size small. I forgot they made pieces like this. It's like that really scratchy kind of dress. I don't think my buy sell trade even takes LuLaRoe these days. Another new tag, Wild Fable. So I wish there was more of this kind of stuff because this is what, yes, it's Target, but this is what my buy sell trade will take and I can trade in for stuff that I want. And this is just from last year. So that's good. All right, 45 minutes. We are more than halfway through. Universal thread size extra large. This is a cute little top. Gianni Binny. I didn't know they sold anything besides shoes and purses. Size large. Whoa, whoa, what are you? Okay. <laughs> they are straps. Oh, that's fun. Just a cute little tank. Some light. Oh, I lied, y'all. I said I was not going to have any Lululemon. But I got a pair, thank goodness. Now these are the kind that I like, but the kind that don't sell very well because these are, I think these are definitely low rise and they are only Capri length. And what do you know? They are size 10, which is my size. Well, the size that I like to wear comfortably and not super tight. Lululemon is another one of those brands, kind of like Lily Pulitzer. I literally have things from size four through 12. So these are cute though, they're in good shape. They're a purple color. They do have a little bit of pilling, but a sweater shaver will take that right off. Logo on the back. But these are not gonna fetch you more than maybe 20 bucks if you're lucky, just because of the style, the age. But I'll wear them. All right, this is Walmart size 810. Oh, but it's new with Tad. It is a sweatshirt, Escape the Ordinary. And it was marked all the way down to $3. I know some people say that graphic tees are so not cool anymore. I think they are. So hopefully Play-Dohs does too. And this is a new day, size medium. This is really pretty. I thought it was a romper, but it's a dress. I love this print. Perfect for fall. Roz and Ali. Don't know what that is size small, a little cardigan. Wild Fable, size double X, just a, what is this? Mock neck, turtleneck, I don't know. These are, hmm, GW Original, maybe vintage. It is a houndstooth, Skirt. I don't see another tag and that one didn't have a size. So, not sure. We've got a blazer. Talbots, very old Talbots tag. 100% uh, worsted wool. Never heard of that, worsted. W-O-R-S-T-E-D, size six. There's the, 
this is nice. Hopefully it has all the buttons. It's pretty. Okay, getting there, getting there. This is super old. One size fits most. Cleeds, lacy clothes. I don't know. These are all like bra hooks. A new day, size small, a sweater. This feels like a sweater somebody ruined. Kenneth Cole, but again, it feels like wool. This goes wool lane, Lana lane. I don't know, but it's tight. So somebody put this in the regular. Like, don't people know? I don't even wear wool, and I know you can't put it in the dryer. I think that's what it, they're putting to dry it wrong. So this feels like terrible. I think I've read there's ways to fix it. Don't know. Old Navy, size extra large, a romper. Mm, this, maybe this is girls. Size extra large, 14. I think that this is little girls for sure. That's cute. I don't think my kid will ever wear that size. She'll just jump to women's extra, extra small. She's so skinny. Massimo, pink button up, size medium. Some paper bag, pants. Ooh, these feel nice. These, this 32 degrees cool. I don't know where that's sold. But these are cute. I thought they only made like athletic wear, but these are some paper bag. They feel like that nice swooshy athletic material, but they look like dress pants. This has a big rip in it. And of course it's free people. So free people, right tag, but right here. So sad, it looks like someone took a bite out of the neck. However, um, I will look it up just to see because this is like a turtle cowl neck and if you, if you could, if you roll it, you know, how it should be, roll it down, the part that has that would be rolled under everything. So if this happens to be a cool sought after sweater, I might list it for super cheap because buy, sell, trade won't take it. What is this? This is horrible. This is size small. It definitely looks like it came from somewhere like Shein. However, Play-Dohs might actually take that. This is BCG running size extra large. I like the back on that. Calvin Klein stretch, definitely feels like wool, another blazer, but it appears it should have a belt. Joe Ben Bassett, size one, some career pants. Old Navy active, size large, breathe on. I love that line from Old Navy. Just a nice tank top. I might actually keep this. It has a split back. I like that color a lot. All right, we have got some more leggings. These are Z by Zella, which I think is Nordstrom's house brand. They look like three quarter length, not full length. Some Banana Republic factory. Oh, I'm sweating. I have to turn my fans off or else you guys see the light even worse. Petite size 12 pants. Ooh, I see an Under Armour tag. New attack heat gear, Under Armour running, size large, a very vibrant neon running shirt. I might list that myself just because it's new with tag. The limited, size two, very old tag, Capri teal pants. We are almost done. Universal thread, size 2X, a red blouse. This is a LuLaRoe extra, extra small maxi skirt. Old Navy size small tank top. Mud size medium. Burnout tee. Amanda and Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea's my little sister's name. Never heard of that brand. Size two dress pants. Oh, I hit my pinky. All right, this is Kirkland. So another Costco size small. Zip up, athletic. We do Sam's, not Costco. And honestly, I love some of the clothes I've gotten from there. This is Angie, just another cheapy little brand, but that's cute. This is Cotton On, size extra small, just another 
sort of top, but hey, if you got it, flaunt it. People look so cute wearing some of that stuff. Marona, size small, a chambray button up. Couple more pieces. Hollister, another thing that was so cool when I was younger. Is it still? I don't know. Size extra small, like one of those really see through sweaters. This is, um, don't know the brand. Thought maybe Charlie Charming, Charming Charlie's, but I'm not sure. Just a tee. This is engraved maternity. That's like a, a line of maternity clothes from Target. It's really cute buffalo plaid though, so that'll go to Once Upon a Child. This is Ann Taylor, size small. This is a nice blouse. Another one I might sell myself. Walmart, size 11, khakis. Oh, I like this print. This is Remabel, size extra small. Never heard of that. It's a floral, very nice. Did, what did I say, extra small? Extra large blouse. I might see if my mom wants that, that's cute. An H&M, very lightweight blazer and last piece is very soft. This is maybe like an Amazon brand. Lan Schaefel, I don't know, but it's a super soft little teddy bear pullover. No, buttons. All right, that's boxes one and two, almost an hour long, probably my longest video ever. And my next one's gonna be just as long, warning. Well, it might not come out right after this one, but I will let you know how many pieces I got. And let's see, let's see if this plan works. I'm gonna have to go to several different Play-Dohs and Silon cores and make a whole, probably two days of it. But hopefully I can find some great stuff to sell on Poshmark versus this stuff, which yes, I do think there's a lot of sellable inventory here. So if you purchase this and you don't have buy, sell trade stores, do I think you could make a profit? This was $200 approximately worth of items. We'll see, I don't know. Stay tuned, give this video a thumbs up, please on your way out, drop me a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.